how do you get motivated on days where it felt there was no inspiration? And this is a really great and, and, and really common question, right? There's days that I feel inspired and there's days that I don't feel inspired. And it's not only at the beginning. And so what I want to just uh, alleviate, but also be very real about is that inspiration comes and goes. Motivation comes and goes. Willpower comes and goes. You know what doesn't come and go though? Is habits and discipline. So yes, you will feel inspired certain days. And yes, you won't feel inspired certain days. Yes, you'll feel motivated certain days. And yes, you won't feel motivated certain days. And yes, there will be times where you just don't want to do anything. And that for me was last week. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do this. Um, I need a break. Like, I don't want to do this right now. I've been doing this for 11 years, right? I had to make like a bunch of videos. I don't want to do it. And guess what? I still haven't, <laughs> right? Because I don't want to. I wasn't inspired. I want to give it my all, right? And so the answer is, what do you do instead? How do you, if you got things to do and you need that little kick in the butt, you need that little movement to get going, what do you do? to actually make sure that you, you get into the flow. So I actually learned this from one of my coaches and it was really helpful for me. So there's actually two things here. Number one is there's this really big guy with really big hands and he claps like this, like really, really weird, <laughs> really weird clap. Anyone know who I'm talking about? He's big, wears a hat a lot of times, monster guy. Yeah, Tony Rock. <laughs> Tony. So Tony talks about, and I've been to a lot of Tony's stuff and done some partnerships with him and stuff. Tony talks about your state, right? Your state of being. And one of the things that he, he talks really big about is your, your motion creates your emotion, right? Your motion creates your emotion. And so one of the times that we don't get inspired, we're not motivated is because we're very stagnant in what we're doing. I've been sitting at my desk for staring at this screen for so long. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, oh my God, like, I just don't want to do this anymore. Like, so your, your emotion is very stagnant. And so one of the easy things that you can do is find different activities that actually bring you motion in a flow activity. What is a flow activity? A flow activity is something that when you do it, you lose track of time. Okay. So a lot of us had all of these flow activities when we were young, right? There are certain things that we did where we lost track of time. And I don't know why when we got older, we stopped doing these things, even though they gave us flow. Flow is when you're in a state where you lose track of time and everything is flowing, right? How do we get more flow? We got to do more activities that bring flow to our life, right? And so for, for me, some of the flow things that I used to do was I used to play tennis, right? I used to play tennis by myself at the wall. There was a wall where you like basically practice with yourself. I loved it. I would just go there for hours and play tennis. It was so fun, right? But I stopped playing tennis. I don't know why, but I stopped. And so what I started to do was I had more flow activity. I was like, I'm going to go play tennis. Now, if you know me and Harv, we like golf, but golf is not a flow activity for us. Why? Because we're both not very good at it and it's frustrating as heck. <laughs> All right. And so that is not a flow activity for us, right? Or maybe it's a run for you, or maybe it's meditation for you, or maybe it is like making and cleaning the, the house, whatever the flow activity is, that's what you do. For me, another thing for me is, is music. I love music and I love certain types of music and that helps me lose track of time. And so what I have is like, you can't see this, but I have like a little trampoline behind me. It's like this little thing. I put some music on and I freaking jump. I jump for five minutes and I'm starting to flow and I'm starting to dance. And then I start to do some work. And the reason why I start to do some work is for one major reason. What's that reason? You're out of your head. You're out of your head. 
You're not thinking about it anymore. You're just doing it, right? The main reason why you aren't doing it is because you're in your head about it. And so we need to get you out of your head by doing different activities, create different, different state of being, get out of that head, less thinking, more doing. How do we do more doing? Do different things that gets you out of the thinking of it and into a rhythm of what you can do instead. When you feel a little inspired, like go jam, go sing, get in the shower and sing your freaking face off right? Do the things like there's no timeline to what you need to do. Writing is sometimes flow for me, like writing in fictional ways or writing in, in different ways other than business of just getting yourself in the flow, swimming. Like, and um, when I write, I cycle, I dance, dancing to music, right? Put some music on and twirl around, get out of the business sense. Now, here's the best thing. You don't have to swim every day. You just have to swim once a week. Swimming once a week will actually put you in flow for the rest of the week, which is really weird to think about. But it's just being in that routine of that activity that gets you out of your head and into something that you actually really, really are, are, are flowing with. It's not enjoying, it's just what takes away time, what lets, lets you lose, what, what's something that just like makes you feel good. Right. And so many of us just forget to do those things as we grow up, as we start businesses, because all of a sudden life gets serious because we got stresses and responsibilities and, and money, right? we got to deal with money and I get it. Trust me. Like there are lots of times where I'm freaking out about cash flow. I got teams to pay. I got things going on. Right. And so we need to also understand that this is not a day thing, a week thing a month thing. This is our life. This is our business. And so we need to incorporate our business into our life. Our business is not our life. Our life is our life. A business is part of our life. And so if it's part of our life, we need to, we need to support the business with other aspects of our life, which are flow activities, right? And so that's my best perspective for you is Figure out what is your flow activity and do it once a month or if it's something or once a week, sorry. And if it's something easy, then do it when you're not feeling inspired, create some flow for yourself, do something that's different.